As non-events go, it doesn't get more uninspiring than ITV's investigation into the Philip Schofield scandal. In the end, it boils down to a middle-aged man hiding the fact that he's gay for ages. Then he dates a younger male member of the team, perhaps inappropriate but not illegal. And frankly, if having sex with people much younger than you is a problem, Mick Jagger would have been sent to the gulag by now. So why the pearl clutching? Why the moralising, especially from the TV industry, which is hardly the home of family values? Making television producers the arbiters of moral behaviour is like giving Vladimir Putin the Nobel Peace Prize. This external inquiry into a drama that gripped the nation says there was no finding of a toxic culture at the ITV programme this morning. Well, excuse me while I spit out my tea. Ask Dr. Ranj, the handsome TV doctor, who stopped appearing on the show not long after complaining about the aforementioned toxic culture. The inquiry also reports that ITV made considerable efforts to determine the truth about the relationship between Schofield and a member of his team. Yes, Schofield's member was examined closely. Investigators said only one employee on the show, a lowly producer, had any knowledge of the affair. Do me a favour. If it was an open secret in the industry, are you seriously telling me that the people working closely with Schofield and the young lad didn't know, including Holly Willoughby herself? But in the end, it's my view that Schofield has done his time. His behaviour was ill-judged, but not illegal. While Hugh Edwards' alleged procurement of sexy images from a vulnerable youngster online makes his position as the face of BBC News untenable, as the presenter of This Morning, all Schofield's got to do is talk about cooking recipes, whether floral will be the pattern for this spring, and how to get your body beach ready for the holidays. Mine isn't, by the way. I haven't seen my abs since the Blair years. Now, I broke the internet during the scandal with my bold offer, cleared with GB News bosses, to rescue This Morning temporarily until it's found its feet. Well, this was back in May. Take a listen. So the offer stands. I am willing to present this morning with my fee going to charity Help for Heroes. This is not a drill. The offer is a firm one. Oh, and if I do have to use Schofield's dressing room, make sure it's been disinfected first.